Good afternoon. My name is Gabriel. I'm from the University of Hong Kong. I'm a physics major. Today I'd like to talk to you about a theory of physics that I'm working on uh, called supersymmetry. So, I'd like for everyone here to consider physicists as artists. Why artists? Because like artists, we are very much concerned with the idea of symmetry. Symmetry being like when some, the right side of something looks like the left side. It's what you look at when you wash your face in the morning. And in physics, we believe that it is the symmetries of the universe that make it, that make it tick. Example, if I drop this pack of tissue, it will always fall down. You might say, that's not very symmetric. Why down, not up, not sideways? Well, if you look at the Earth from space, you'll notice that it's a great big sphere. And if you drop anything, it will fall to the center, no matter where you are on the Earth. That's why you don't fall off the South Pole, because gravity is spherically symmetric, and that's how it works. If we try to apply this idea of symmetry to the very small things that make up our universe, the tiniest, tiniest particles, even smaller than atoms, then we find that they also interact in a certain way, these, these small particles, and these interactions, whether they bump each other or whatever, they're also governed by even more particles. Now, this idea that matter is made up of particles and the interactions are governed by particles, this is called the standard model. And in the standard model, we have a total of 61 particles. It's kind of a lot of particles, but it's, it's actually a, a fantastic theory. It's consistent, it explains a lot of things, but it's incomplete. And so, like artists, some physicists are saying, okay, why don't we introduce a new sort of symmetry to this standard model? And we call it supersymmetry. Supersymmetry says that for every one of these 61 particles that we have in the standard model, there is a superpartner. So 61 superpartners that are heavy, but they're also invisible. We can't see them. Now, why is this important? Why is this symmetry even something that we're even considering? Well, because it answers quite a lot of questions. For example, astronomers tell us, like we heard earlier, that there's dark matter. There's a lot of it, but we don't know what it is. We can't see it. Supersymmetry tells us that some of these superpartners, they might just be the dark matter that we're looking for. Supersymmetry also tells us how we can unify forces. So that means, just like we can describe electricity and magnetism in one theory of electromagnetism, Supersymmetry allows us to unify three of the four fundamental forces of nature, and that's a big deal, which means that we can describe, they obey the same set of equations, which is incredibly beautiful, incredibly symmetric. And it just, as a physicist, this tickles me. It's, 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 it's great. So, in conclusion, supersymmetry, it's a wonderful theory that says that there are hidden superpartners to everything that we see in our daily life, and it could hold the key to a lot of mysteries of our universe. Thank you.